Hello, welcome to Gardening with Miss Karen. This is the first video in our gardening class. So I'm going to begin by giving a framework for how all of our classes are going to work together. So to begin all of our classes, we're going to start with three movements. And it's important to always have movement in your day and lots and lots of exercise and fresh air because that is how we set our bodies up to learn. Without lots of movement and getting exercise, it's really hard for us to learn. So we're going to start with three gardening movements. The first is we're going to pretend to be seeds. So whenever I do a movement in class, I want you to get up and do the movement with me. I want you to stand up and then bend, reach for your toes and pretend like you're a seed underneath the ground. And that seed is going to slowly grow above the land and become a sprout. And then that sprout is going to reach for the sun and become a nice, nice, strong, healthy spring. So those are the three movements we're always going to start our class off with. We're also then I'm going to introduce a topic that we'll be discussing. So since this is our first class, that is our topic, is to set the framework for how all of our classes are going to work together. And the, one, the most important thing in gardening classes is also figuring out what plants need. So we're going to be talking a little bit about what are all the things that plants need. To begin, we're going to do our American sign for our word of the day. And our word of the day is going to be first, because this is our first class. So the American sign for first is to take your hand and put it in front of you, and not, not palm that way, but palm towards me, and hold up your pointer finger, just like that. And that's the American sign for first. See? So you're going to be learning a new language in this gardening class. This is first. So the first uh, thing that we're going to discuss in our garden class series is all the things that plants need. There's lots and lots of things that they need. They need air and they need a space to live and they need nutrients and they need a water source. So there are lots of cool things that they need. And there's an actual acronym for these things. It's called LAND. And we're going to talk about that in our next class. But for this class, we're going to focus on just us thinking about, can we use our brains and think about what are all of the things that plants need? And what's cool about the answer to that question is it's the same thing that we need as humans. So think about what are the different things that you need. I want you to talk to your family and your friends, have discussions, go for a walk, observe your environment, look at the plants in your environment. There's all different kinds of growing things. Look at all, think about all the things that you need and you do during the day to meet all of your needs. That's your eco challenge. Uh, talk with your family about that. Use your eyes, use your brain, observe your world. To end our first class together, do the American sign for me for first or one. Thank you. And to end our first class together, we're going to do a uh, movement. For this movement, we're going to do a tree. And to do a tree, you put one leg up against the other one, and you reach for the sky. So that's our pose to end our class together. Thank you.